So tonight I'm uh, down at Aberfrau uh, by the church and the sea. Not been here for again for a few years. It's been a while, and uh, it was just a last-minute decision, really, just to jump in the car. It was a nice evening, and I thought, you know what, I could do with a sunset shot. So I thought I'd come down here to Aberfrau and photograph the uh, church in the sea. Now uh, I've left my phone in the car, so I think it's about half past seven at night. Um, I think I've got a couple of hours till the sun goes down but I know the tide was fully in about half past three it's gone out now but you get these little pools you know leading up um, to the church in the sea at the background here now I've come across this here um, it's like a I'd say it's like a dragon's footprint <laughs> over here with uh, a couple of pools of water in it and what catches my eye is just ahead of that you've got these coloured rocks this really really sort of lime green colour popping and there's a bit of rocks over there as well uh, with a bit of lime green that really looks well it just really pops in the sun there and uh, the uh, church in the background there I thought they'd take a nice uh, It'll be a nice picture the uh, sky is just blue unfortunately but I think there's enough color between you know the foreground and what's going on it'll make a nice image I'm probably thinking more of a one-to-one -one crop on this so uh, yeah good start uh, what I think I'll do now just to pass a bit of time is probably take a walk to the actual church and get a shot from uh, up there and then probably head over that way for a for an evening shot anyway i'll head there and i'll pop this image up now caught behind the venetian blinds how to reach for the city lines and this ain't where i belong ain't looking me more what i become I've been running east, looking for sunset, digging deep since '99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go. Burn on. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the foam, pulling stitches, time to let go, so come what may. Don't look before you Give you get to keep so long, farewell, bye bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart right now. I'm bleeding, an easy kid. So not sure really what I'm expecting after with a sunset considering the uh, there's no clouds but hopefully we'll get something I mean you can't go wrong with a picture here really 
even in uh, shitty weather you still get a good picture out of this place it's just beautiful <sighs> so yeah um, so I'm just gonna walk around now looking for little bits just wasting time really till the uh, sun goes down and see what happens yeah it'd be nice if the uh, tide was in and uh, water was covering this church but saying that if that was the case then we would have got, in, got on here and got the shot but I've had this shot before anyway so uh, yeah it would have been nice to see a uh, the sea surrounding it but like I said the uh, tide was in at half past three in the afternoon it's no good then uh, it was too too blue so either way uh, you know you still get a good picture out of this place so right, I'm going to stop talking crap and uh, walk about and see what else I can uh, capture on this beautiful part of the world. taking a walk down here um, this caught my eye over here um, I like the bits of seaweed here in the foreground where the when it starts here in the foreground you've got this one big clump of seaweed here bits of pool in between that and you've got these nice rocks just lining up nice to take the eye straight to the uh, church in the background and um, it caught my eye there's something about it I like I think it's the shape uh, the way the seaweed starts from the foreground over here and works its way through the scene the center of the scene to take your eye to the church right in the background and these rocks are lit nicely by the uh, sun so once again um, I think I'm probably thinking of a one-to-one -one crop on this one um, maybe color maybe black and white maybe both we'll see here they are anyway So I've just come a bit back here, just behind some pile of rocks here. Um, what was catching my eye here is I was thinking about going low with a tripod, just so I can get a foreground. There's like a rock wall in the foreground here with rocks and uh, seaweed just coming down the rocks here. You've got bits of this uh, lime green shit on the rocks as well, really catching the eye. Now. You can see a reflection in a bit of the uh, water over there towards the, uh, the reflection of the church there but by going low with a tripod i'm reducing that middle space uh lower so uh if you know what i mean i'm i don't want that empty space in the center there there's too much of it but so by going lower with the tripod i'm getting more of this mossy rocks in the foreground which is interesting the reflection of the church at the center and church in the sea in the back um, caught me eye if it works here it is This green stuff on the rocks is really catching me. I this seaweed, mossy stuff, whatever it is, uh, it's 
really eye-catching so uh, once again I've come over here I think I'm gonna put the tripod in a vertical uh, position um, yeah I think vertical would be the best for this and what I'm gonna do I've got a big rock here full of that green stuff on it <laughs> green stuff um, slime green slime full of that green shit on it uh, which will go in the foreground I think and uh, and it just works nicely like this one rock after the other popping with that green stuff um, I'm going low again just trying to reduce the middle a bit uh, then we got the next layer in the center which is the rocks and the light is on that now really nice and then uh, just above the church in the sea now we've got a cloud so uh, that'll add interest uh, won't be too much uh, sky I'll probably just put the cloud at the top of the frame I better get on with it now or I'll lose the shot but uh, I think this should work So trying to set my shot up for a sunset, that sun's going to drop behind that hill and uh, going to lose all the light in a minute. So we're uh, not sure what kind of shot we're going to get after. Um, but in the meantime, if this isn't the last shot, uh, this is the one I've chosen anyway. Um, simply because I've got the last light on these rocks. I shot this earlier on when I first came here, caught my eye. Uh, it looks much nicer now. So what I've done is I've gone low with a tripod so I can get these sort of rocks right in the foreground here with that greenish slimy colour on there. Uh, just a bit, a tiny bit of cloud there in the background above the uh, above the church there but I haven't put too much sky in it. Once again I've gone low with a tripod just to reduce the centre a bit so all you're getting really is the light in the uh, green rocks over here. Uh, just a nice little image I think um, so yeah this is the one pre-sunset not sure what kind of shot I'm gonna get in a minute when it goes dark but uh, I possibly think a silhouette or something who knows but in the meantime this is the shot So just setting up me uh, shot here could be the last one um, I like this big boulder right in the front here uh, as the Sun's going down it's just lighting the side of the rock here and it's lighting the sort of pathway of seaweed that leads all the way to the uh, church a lot of people are getting in the shot there so I'm uh, having to wait for them to move I hope they hurry up because I haven't got much time as the uh, Sun dips down so yeah, in this shot I'm going vertical, putting the rock right in the foreground, got nice light hitting the side of it and the light's just hidden, hitting like a pathway all the way up to the uh, church there, looks really good and uh, yeah, looks lovely. I think 
think I'm gonna leave it there for this vlog. Uh, it's been a long day for me. As you can see, I've still got the clothes on from the last vlog. That's because I shot that last week's vlog this afternoon and come here at night. And I'm getting pretty, pretty tired now. So, uh, and the sun's gone down. And I think I've captured the last light. Uh, there's no sky, uh, there's no clouds in the sky. It's gonna catch, there's nothing to catch color. So, uh, yeah, it's just something I wanted to do. I just fancy coming here this evening for a sunset and uh, just walked about, experimented with a few shots. Uh, I don't know what kind of shots I've had, you'd have seen them by now, but it's just nice to get out in it, uh, especially at a sunset. So I think I'm going to leave it there from uh, Abifrau. I'm going to head home now. Uh, got a nice milkshake, banana milkshake, waiting for it in the car. And then when I get home, I've got some nice tinnies that are waiting for me tonight. So. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, bye.